What's up guys, I'm Glenn with Longshot Martial Arts and in this video we'll be going over my signature wrist lock, the Violator. Okay, Violator wrist lock. This is going to be off the tie -up. This is a dry move, but it's such a threat and it's so demoralizing when somebody hits it on you that your partner will do almost anything to avoid it. So when we start in our wrestling stance, let's go ahead and have you put your left leg forward for right now. And now, we're at a, a pretty far distance. Really the only grabs available are like wrist grabs. I can post on the inside of the elbow, the shoulder. The, the head is a little far away without overextending. So usually right here, I'm gonna go ahead and post on Kyle's shoulder. And for the most part, everyone will always try to go to the inside. So usually he'll post on my shoulder here. And now we have uh, what looks for me a disadvantage position. So one more time. I'm just going to get him to reach up and post. I'm going to give up the inside position. And now you see his fingers are kind of rolled over my shoulder. I want to get his pinky in the bend of my elbow right here. So in order to do that, all I'm going to do is slide my thumb into the bend of his elbow and I'm just going to push it down. Usually he's not going to give up the grip. He's not just going to let me push his hand off. So as I post, he goes to the inside. I'll go to the elbow and make this catch pull position with my hand and just push it away. If he's got a really strong grip, go ahead one more time here, and just, if he's got a really strong grip, my arm might not be able to push his hand away, so I'm gonna push me away and shrug my shoulder back. Now, let's go this way again. Yeah, right here. So now when this happens, I wanna make sure that his pinky is in the very, very middle of my elbow, right here. As soon as this happens, I'm going to step in close and close my arm. I'm gonna pinch tight and I lock my hands. And now, go ahead and relax this elbow for right now. I wanna jam in and get his elbow in this V position. And now, you see his fingers are stuck between my forearm and my bicep. I'm gonna squeeze tight and I'm gonna rotate and drop my hips down. So hold this position right here. His hand is being tweaked back, over, and down. And I'm not doing this with just my arm motion. I'm doing this with my entire body. So once I get here, I'm going to kind of bring my elbow over his forearm and now I rotate my shoulders and drop my legs. Okay, so Kyle, when this when this is applied, how does that feel? Oh, it's awful. It's terrible, right? It off. <laughs> and the reason we call it the violator is because it makes you feel like you just got violated anytime it happens. And the best thing about it is even when somebody understands what is going to happen to them and they avoid it, they're still not making effective grips, you know? Uh, it, it makes it like you're trying to grab something off a hot stove, right? Yeah. So right. as soon as we tie up, I'm posting, and this is a very natural position, like he naturally goes there. It might be a little bit higher, he might grab like my collar tie or something, but usually if I pull away, he'll reconnect somewhere further down the arm. And as soon as that happens, he gets in here, I lock in and I jam in. I want to make sure this elbow goes down and back, making this V shape, locking tight and turning. You can be pretty violent with this. And I've gotten, I've gotten taps like this as soon as we tie up. And it's, <laughs> it's so low risk that I do it every single time. And the best part about it is once you get this, once you start off and you get the one hand, we go slide down, trap, violate him, we get the tap. He's gonna take that hand away, we're gonna touch back in, and I'll do it here. Now he's gonna post on the other side, and now I do the exact same thing. I've gotten back-to-back -back violators just like that in the beginning of a round. So uh, a couple things to watch out for is when the person, <clears throat> when the person does not allow their, uh, the outside edge of their hand on the pinky side to get flush with the inside of my elbow. If he's anywhere more on the bicep and then the bend of my elbow, go ahead, open up here. Um, if he's more here and the bend of my elbow does not close on his hand, I'm gonna lose it. So as I go, I wanna really make sure that it's making contact and I'm closing my hand around the pinky edge and rolling it in. Because if it's anywhere here, pull here, if it's anywhere here, he's just going to be able to slide his hand out. Especially if they're, they're slippery or they're stronger and they have an idea of what's going to happen. So post, push in, slide the pinky down, close it, and 
When I close it, I don't want to pull because now his hand is straight and there's nothing holding onto it. He'll just yank his hand out. Okay, so when I close, we make, we, we close the distance. So close the elbow and then close distance between our core. So as I close in, jam it in. Now we rotate and drop. One more time. Post. And we get the tap. Thanks guys, like, share, subscribe.